Case Blue was Germany's plan for the 1942 strategic summer offensive in southern Russia between June and November of 1942. The objective was to capture the oil fields of Maikop, Grozny and Baku for two main reasons. First, to enable Germany to resupply their low fuel stock and also to deny their use to the Soviet Union, thereby breaking the complete collapse of the Soviet war effort. Heres Gruppe A or Army Group A captured the already demolished oil fields at Moikop on the 9th of August and the city of Elista near the Caspian Sea coast on the 13th of August of 1942. However, Soviet resistance and the long distances from Axis sources of supply reduced the offensive to local advances only and prevented the German army from completing their strategic objective and capturing the main Caucasus oil field at Baku. But with a completely different strategy, Germany could have defeated the Soviet Union already in 1942. The Soviet Union and Russia sits on the European plain, a fertile yet flat region stretching from France to the Ural Mountains. This region has no mountains, no deserts, no swamps, and only a few rivers. It is simply impossible to defend from invasion. It has also been the site of countless wars and battles, including the bloodiest the world has ever seen. The southern sector of the region is nowadays called the Volgograd Gap. If this flat land is conquered, Russia is basically cut off the axis to the Black Sea and the oil fields of the Caucasus. In reality, Germany was very close to successfully cut the Volgograd Gap in late 1942. Instead of Baku, the 1942 summer offensive should have focused on capturing the port city of Mahachkala. Mahachkala is the capital of Dagestan, a major seaport on the Caspian Sea, and it was the headquarters of the Soviet Caspian Flotilla. By June of 1941, the Soviet flotilla included only five gunboats, some auxiliary ships, a separate squadron with only 13 aircraft, and some smaller coastal units. During the Second World War, the Caspian flotilla secured vital sea shipping of army units and transported petroleum products from Baku to deep inside the country, mainly to Astrahan, and to a second oil transshipment port in Guryev. Germany's elite parachute landing division, the 7th Air Division, regained its strength by mid-1942 after the Battle of Crete. It could have been used to take key objectives like the Groznil oil refinery and vital bridges along the way to Mahachkala. German special forces operators from the Brandenburg regiment could have also been deployed to organize a revolt in the North Caucasus region and open the way for the Panzer spearheads. After Mahachkala, this vital Caspian harbor was in German hands, the German Navy could have built up a small naval fleet to interdict the Soviet oil transportation on the Caspian Sea. The Kriegsmarine, so the German Navy, had altogether 14 Schnellboot flotillas during the Second World War. 
A standard flotilla consisted of eight Schnell boats or fast attack crafts. They were very seaworthy, heavily armed, and capable of sustaining 44 knots, so approximately 80 kilometers per hour. They were armed with torpedoes and flak guns, commonly one 37 mm at the stern, one 20 mm at the bow, and several machine guns. The earliest boats had a crew of 12 men, but later the manning had increased to 18 men. These attack crafts were fast and dangerous, and the crews were awarded 23 night cross of the Iron Crosses and 112 German crosses in gold during the war. From 1941, crew members could earn an award particularly to their work, the Schnellboot Kriegsabzeichen, or the Fast Attack Craft War Badge. This badge depicted an attack boat passing through a reef. The criteria were good conduct, distinction in action, and participating in at least 12 enemy actions. These boats could easily be transported on the highways or by rail to theoretically any port. This means that after taking the port of Mahachkala, the German Navy could have used it as a base for one or several Schnellblot flotillas and interdict or even destroy the Soviet Caspian flotilla. This means that the Soviet Union would have lost its oil fields near Maikop and Grozny and she couldn't have access to her largest oil field in Baku by late 1942. With more than 90% of the oil lost, the Red Army could not counterattack in November of 1942. Using this oil shortage, the Japanese High Command could have also attacked the Soviet Far East in late 1942 or perhaps early 1943. In this case, the only Soviet option would have been to sign a separate peace treaty with Germany and concentrate all forces against Imperial Japan. But I'm curious, what do you think about this scenario? I hope you enjoyed this episode and to make sure you don't miss my future work, Please make sure you are subscribed to my channel and press the bell notification button. Thank you and see you in the next video.